Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Wings with me, Stuart. Back to reviews this week, and today we've got a independent, an independent bottle, not a, uh, an independent bottle of Glen Cadam. Uh, this is bottled by Karen Moore. It's their old style bottlings. So if I just get the uh, most recent style, so you can see the difference. Um, so that's like their most recent uh, rebranding, and this is their old uh, branding. So we'll pop this one away for now. Yeah, so Glen Cadam, it's bottled at 40, where is it, 46% ABV, uh, which is a little different from how they used to, they do things now, they bottle things at 47.5%, uh, so yeah, 46% ABV, non-chill filtered still, no added colouring, uh, so still quite a, a lot of um, good points there on the label, it gives you a lot of information on the label, uh, which, you still get a lot of information on the old label, but for some reason, something just drags me towards the, the older label. I don't like the new bottles on this, if I'm honest. I think that probably adds some price to it. I just like straight bottles. I know it stands out on shelves, on whiskey shelves, uh, and bars and shops and uh, pubs, should I say, stuff like that. Uh, and it does have the Morrison uh, engraving there, but yeah, I just prefer a straight bottle. Uh, no nonsense, and it doesn't really need a box. Uh, they've even, like, they've even fancied, uh, played about with the cork and uh, kind of fancied that up a bit. So anyway, uh, this was when it was Morrison and Mackay, it's now just, uh, Carnmore's now just owned by Morrison. Uh, so this, yeah, I can't remember when this, it was bottled 2019, I think I might have bought, uh, bought it around then. I uh, bought it from the Grail when they were in Dune and I think it cost me around about 40 to 50 pounds. I don't think it was that expensive. Uh, but it's seven year old, so it's quite young. Uh, it's still 2011. 638 bottles from two casks, so it's not a single cask, and it's matured in a bourbon barrel. Uh, so it's good, to, I think that's a lot of information. Um, I don't think you could ask for anything more. There's a little bit of sediment in there, and yeah, it's it's, it's non-gel filtered, so uh, we're probably gonna get sediment. So anyway, uh, Glen Cadam, it's, I mean, it's a relatively, it used to be a relatively overlooked distillery, it's slowly and, or gradually should I say, um, picking up some pace and excitement within the whiskey community. Their kind of standard core range gets a lot of attention, uh, a lot of good publicity, and yeah, they're, they're slowly starting to gain this momentum, or gradually gaining this momentum that's that's putting them up there as one of the, the kind of whiskies for whiskey drinkers. So yeah, we'll get down to this. Ta-da! I'm in a different location now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've uh, had to move location because uh, my mum and dad came in and uh, they are in the conservatory uh, talking. So <laughs> the where I do my videos right next to the conservatory, so I thought I would uh, take it upstairs. So I've got a nice, lovely, almost you can see a, a pink uh, makeup box to prop up the whiskey as I'm currently in my uh, girlfriend's kind of makeup get ready room. Anyway, we'll get down to the. Uh, the nose, the palate, and the, the finish. So the nose is oh, the nose is brilliant. It's typical bourbon cask uh, goodness. There's something I don't think I've had before, and it's it's a dessert that they do in Italy. It's cannoli, I believe it's called. It's like a, a pastry wrapped or uh, twisted, uh, and inside it's like stuffed with creamy goodness, <laughs> uh, like a, a buttercream or something like that, and then there's a sprinkle of nuts, uh, it's usually dipped in nuts or, or, or sprinkled with nuts, I don't know what nuts they are, it could be like pistachio or something, but there's nuttiness here, there's that, that like I said, that creaminess to time with the cannoli and a little bit of pastry, and I'm not sure if the pastry is savoury uh, cannoli, I think it is, supposed to be savoury, it's obviously the cream's a little sweet, but this is quite a savoury nose, out with the creamy sweetness element, but there's also a real spicy white pepper element, very peppery, very spicy, I'm not sure if that's the cask, or if that's the, the Glen Cadam character, but it's fantastic, like, I'm really enjoying this, it's probably be off-putting to some people who are maybe, uh, sensitive to spice, sensitive to the white pepper elements, but because it is powerful and if you stick your nose too far in, it, it, the, the ABV, although it's only 46%, it, it 
does affect the nose, but no, I am really enjoying this whiskey and I'm glad I got a bottle. Oh, I'm really enjoying the nose so far, not trying to uh, <laughs> uh, foreshadow what the outcome is going to be. But yeah, a great nose. We'll get down to the palate. The palate, similar to the nose in the sense that it's spicy. This time, kind of peppercorn, a peppercorn sauce. Uh, I try to link it to this, this kind of creamy element. Um, so like a peppercorn sauce you'd have on a steak, it's a little, yeah, it's a little spicy, it's a little creamy, a little oily, it's, it's, it is a nice mouthfeel this one, nice and oily, it's not a very sweet dram, um, quite savoury, quite deep, or not deep, but quite complex I feel, a little bit of, um, I want to say coriander, uh, something like that, it's quite fresh in the palate, it's not, I mean it's seven year old, but it's not, it doesn't seem evidently young, uh, but yeah, it, it is fresh, it's quite, like I said, kind of crisp, um, which is almost a, an indicator that it's young, but it's not, it's not a, a bad young, <laughs> it's a nice young. Also want to say something, link, link into the coriander, and uh, I'm going to go for like a curry theme, <laughs> but there's... Because I said black pepper or peppercorn sauce, there's like poppadom. I don't know if you've ever had these. They're, they're poppadoms, but they've got kind of black pepper throughout them, uh, or black pepper and spices throughout them. I'm trying to think who does them. I think maybe Shar Woods or something. But it's like a black pepper poppadom. <laughs> it's savoury, almost uh, crunchy, crispy, and yeah, black pepper, spicy. It's it's a very savoury dram. It's a little. It draws your cheeks in a little. But at the same time, it's quite um, moorish, uh, and I, I'm finding myself wanting more of it. Uh, but at the same time, it's one of those drams that you'd have to sit with, uh, take your time with, write notes down. I've actually not written any notes on this whiskey yet. Uh, I'm still sort of exploring it, even though I'm reviewing it. Uh, but it's still, yeah, it's still revealing things to me. It's ever changing, it's evolving, and it's good to see in a whiskey this young. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good whiskey. Uh, I'm enjoying it, although it's not something I tend to reach for because of the 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 more challenging aspect to it and the savoury kind of bitter spiciness to it. It's not one you could just keep drinking. Uh, although there is a little bit of a more element to it, I'm just I constantly contradict myself. <laughs> um, yeah, what I mean is, it's just it's not one that you you yeah you'd look at and go, I'm going to have that. It's one that ah, you have to kind of take your time with, sit down with, and it it requires the patience to have. Um, the finish, I'm definitely getting like a, I get it's quite a lot in whiskies. Is the the peanut um, kind of skin? Definitely, I can just taste it. It's all I can taste is the peanut skins, the the burgundy skin. There's like a satay sauce uh, on the finish as well. Uh, some sort of kind of yeah, like Chinese satay. Uh, I feel like we've, we've went from Italian uh, to Indian to Chinese. I wonder what other cuisines I can get in. But yeah, there's like a satay, that kind of peanut butter, um, sticky sauce that, that they uh, do on skewers that you get on chicken skewers. So yeah, there's a satay sauce there. It's quite fantastic in the, the finish as well. Uh, I think that's all I've really... It's, it's, it's a long finish. It's still going on and the, the peanut element is, is forever um, in your palate. It's constant, uh, but yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say for this one. So, I'll get down to rating this whiskey, um, and I'll rate it on three factors if you're new here. The first is, would I buy it again, would I recommend it, and do I think it's worth it? So, I believe it was about £40, £50. Pound. Uh, do I think it's worth it? I, I do, I think it is. It's, it's non-chill filtered, no added colour, and 46% ABV, and it's, it's, a, it's an experience. It's definitely an experience. Would I recommend it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's, it's, I feel like it's quite unique. It's maybe it's just because I'm I'm not that into Glen Cadam. I've not had a lot of Glen Cadam, and maybe that's why I see it in this light, um, a little bit unique, a little bit different. But for someone who's more uh, an avid kind of Glen Cadam fan and knows the 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 flavour profile of Glen Cadam, they might think this is quite atypical Glen Cadam and nothing kind of unique. Um, but for me and my experience, I think this is quite a unique whiskey. And would I buy it again? I wouldn't. 
Uh, like I said, it's 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 kind of ever changing, uh, and it's a good whiskey, but it's I'm, I'm struggling to reach for it because of how uh, how kind of challenging it is as a whiskey. Uh, although it's good, and that is a good thing, for some reason I, I there's I, there's something within me that just says I want to go with this or that. Just uh, I don't know. I, I'm just struggling to reach for this one, so I wouldn't buy it again. But I would recommend it, and I do think it's worth it. And I do think it's a good whiskey. It's just one I wouldn't buy again. Uh, so hopefully I haven't contradicted myself too many times <laughs> um, and recorded it on camera. But anyway, I've been Stuart. This has been Whiskey Wins. I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,